a spell on you. Hi everyone, my name is Angel Aura, and I'm a psychic medium, which means basically I can tell the past, present, and future on the person I'm reading for, and I can also talk to people who pass on, spirits, angels, at least I can hear them and I can feel them, and um, I'm offering my services to you free here on YouTube. I have my own website, which I will send you the link to, possibly weekly, maybe even daily, depends on how much response I get. And if you want to send me YouTube videos of questions, you can only do one question per person. The question, tell me your name, and I'll try to answer them, but you can come and get full readings and see my website, and because there's a lot of things I offer. I do readings in person if you're in the New York area. And sometimes when I travel, I can certainly do them in person in your hometown if I'm there. I have a tour coming up in Los Angeles where I'll be there to be able to do live readings. I've, so I'll keep you posted about that, too. I've also been invited to an area called Rainbow Lake, Canada. That'll happen right around fall. But otherwise, if you're in the New York general area or you're traveling to New York, I can do in-person readings. I can do them on the telephone. And when I do telephone readings, what I do is I will send you a DVD of the reading. And if you do the instant messaging readings, which I also can do, of course, I'll make a word copy for you and send it to you after we're done. And we can do that on my Yahoo Messenger. Now today I've taken a few questions that I've asked some people on a website to get me. And like I said, you can write them into my website. I have a contact form. And also, you can uh, send them in by video on YouTube and send them to me. And uh, we'll talk, so I hope you enjoy. This is my first one. We're going to talk about protection. Now, when you are doing readings, if you do them for other people or you're getting one done, a good thing is to protect yourself with the white light. So I would recommend that you always use either the white light technique, which is basically imagining a white light from above and imagining it covering your whole body from head to toe, inside and out, and surrounding you at all times. So that's a high color, it's white, and it protects you from all things that are negative and lower energy. You can use white light. There's other techniques. In fact, one of them is here on my YouTube channel. So you can also do the one where you light up your chakras and you relax, and that's a very good one. It protects you, it brings in higher power. You can also do what we call the velvet curtain. If you feel like you're in danger, or there are lower energies, you can surround yourself in basically a black or a purple, very dark purple curtain or shroud and imagine that you're surrounding you. You don't have to do it for real, just imagining it and that protects you within the white light and that's very positive. And the only thing that any kind of lower energy can do is possibly drain your energy. It cannot kill you, it cannot make you do things you would not ordinarily do, but if you're feeling a little depressed and a negative energy does come on to you, it can actually bring you down a little. There are no such thing as curses unless you believe in them. Because nobody can take your energy from you. There are psychic vampires and they can drain it a little, but they cannot make you kill yourself or kill your neighbor unless you have that tendency within yourself already. All they can do is make you feel worse than you feel. If you have a headache, it might get worse because you're allowing that energy to be brought into you. But all you have to do is block it or say, I do not allow it, or cover yourself with white light and the velvet curtain. Because as long as you don't believe it, it cannot affect you. The thing that's most dangerous are living people, not curses. Living people can bring a gun and hurt you. And, so, and when you are doing psychic things for the first time or opening up yourself psychically, you will attract a lot of different people. Some people want to kind of take that power from you or tell you you are cursed or it's dangerous or it's the work of the devil. It is not because that does not exist. That said, check other websites like Sylvia Brown. We agree, there is no devil, there is only low energies and human people are much more dangerous. Questions. My first question comes from Quill Farah. And I'm going to call you Farah because I didn't get your name. Well. I had a horrible nightmare last night that is haunting me today. It was about the death of a friend. Very emotionally intense, so it felt real. My friend has not checked in on the website today, so I am a bit uneasy. Is my friend alright? Yes, I do feel that your friend is alright physically. That's what I'm picking up immediately. Uh, I do think your friend might be a little down, feeling depressed, particularly on that day that you had the dream, and you were picking it up because you're empathic with your friends. 
in fact, almost always in dreams, if you dream of death, including your own, it usually means the death of a way of life. Often dreams of death means that your life is changing drastically, or the person's, or even yours, because most things in dreams represent you anyways. So chances are your friend is fine and maybe a little down, or something has changed in their life. She's getting married, so the way being a single person has changed. Or she's about to celebrate a birthday. If they just graduated school or got engaged, this is all a change of a way life or the death the way your life was. You know, when you do tarot readings, somebody pulls out the death card, a lot of people are frightened of that. That usually just means a complete change in your life. That's not the most negative card in the deck. In fact, it's rather positive, usually. The only other thing I'm picking up from your friend, Farah, is that um, I'm picking up a lot of sadness and some fear. So I think emotionally your friend is going through something. So contact him or her and find out if they're okay and need to talk. Because maybe My next question is from Suki. Now Suki says, what do you see me doing career-wise? As to right now, I am very indecisive and confused, and you name it, as to what I should be pursuing for the rest of my life. First, first let me tell you, Suki, the rest of your life is usually a very long time for most of us. So you don't have to make that decision right now about what you're going to do the rest of your life. It sometimes makes your parents feel better, your friends and relatives, that you choose a career. But it's about doing what really feels good to you. Do what you love and the money will come. That's actually a book too, a very good book. So I recommend that. But do what you love. If you feel something you're attracted to, then study that. If you're college age, go to college and study what you want. You like that. So there's a lot of choices if that's something that's calling you. What I'm feeling from you, Suki, is that your confusion is the fact you're trying to do, quote, the right thing, and you're trying to listen to other people what they think you should do, but I do think you have a creative side to you. I am picking up a little more with you with writing, so I think you might aim towards writing. Maybe journalism, or maybe even it's something like, I'm getting some art in there, maybe it's comic books. Maybe you could think of a plot for a comic book, so maybe you go to a school for being a cartoonist, or maybe it's the visual arts of some sort, where you learn how to create animated films or filmmaker, but I'm feeling like you're creative and you're trying to do the right thing, like be a doctor or a lawyer or choosing that. You don't have to choose that. I wouldn't study it unless you really want to. So, so take tests to see where you, your creative lies, but whatever s makes, you, makes your soul sing, think about what makes your soul sing and follow that lead, so, or go through a college catalog and say, oh my god, I feel really good when I read that, then that's what you're supposed to do, at least for a while. And you can change your mind. There's no rules that says you can't. So, everybody, love and light, and I hope I see you soon. And please come to my website and check it out, and if you want a full one-hour reading, this is how I give the readings. You will get one-on-one, -on -one and I'll tell you about past lives, and present, and future. So. We'll talk soon, and I'll give you another subject next time. See you soon. Send me some letters and tell me what you think. Thanks. Angel R. I put a spell on you. Because you're mine.